What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here. We're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're taking a look at Fallen Order obtained via play as part of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I know it's a mouthful, but I just wanted to make sure you guys know that, hey, if you got Game Pass Ultimate, you can snag this for free, and it is moddable, even though it doesn't show moddable as part of the Game Pass. Anyways, or stroke that like button if you enjoy the video. Message me down in the comments on the best Star Wars game. I'll give you a hint. It's probably KOTOR, not gonna lie. And subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. So I got a request from one of my viewers, Zinex, on how to mod Jedi Knight Fallen Order. I think I got the name right. Uh, turns out it's actually kind of easy to do. It's basically a drag and drop type of deal. So this is the default character. This mod that I'm going to be using is going to replace Cal Rinner? Eh. With uh, Ahsoka Tano. Anyways, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. That's the vanilla state. Now what you're going to be doing first is you're going to come over to your settings here. You're going to go into your settings. Ooh, settings. And you're going to be looking for your download and you want you to snag your download location if you don't already know it. So whenever you have your download location, you're gonna go ahead and navigate to that location, which in my case, it is my D drive. Let me go ahead and get to this PC real quick. D drive, it's inside of my games, there's EA, and here is Jedi Fallen Order. Now once we're in Jedi Fallen Order, we're just going to go into the SW games and the content and the packs, and odds are more often than not, this is where you're going to be dragging and dropping your mods. Next step is simply to snag a mod that we want. So here's the Soko Tano mod. It's by Alex Poe. We're just gonna go ahead and snag it, download it. I've already got mine downloaded, so let's go ahead and go out to my downloads. We're gonna go into the mod folder, so Katana 1.1. We're gonna copy the pack here, paste the pack inside of the Jedi Fallen Order packs. Shows up there at the bottom. Now that we're done with that, it's just a matter of going back here, double clicking this guy, let's go ahead and play it. And if we did this right, our model should have been replaced for, I'm gonna just see, keep on saying Cal Renner. Odds are I'm wrong. In which case, I'm sorry, I literally just downloaded the game so I could show you guys how to mod it real quick. I have not played through it yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I've heard it was one of the better single player experiences of that year, but we'll see. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. There, I think I had the title right. I might have said Jedi Knight though. If I did, my bad. And just like before, we're going to go start new game. And this time you should notice the kneeling asset of Cal Renar has been replaced with Ahsoka Tano. Whenever we actually get to the main screen, wherever I can hit start, we'll see the asset fully replaced. But that's just how easy it is to mod this. Uh, it's basically, yeah, you just drag and drop pack files inside of your uh, SW game folder. And yeah, there's a Sokotano. I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord. Link's up at the top of the channel page. Don't forget to blast that like button with Force Lightning. Let me down, down in the comments on what you think the best Star Wars game is, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand. Y'all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.